Right, another little video on the uh, Mark III Mondeo. This is a TDCI I'm working on, the ST TDCI. The 220 is exactly the same, though, front subframe bolts. So the rear front subframe bolts are the problematic ones. They get corroded in, and they're like an encapsulated nut when inside the chassis, and that encapsulated nut can spin if these threads are all gummed up, which mine were quite. Um, I just struggled to get this one out a little bit, but I'll show you what it did. Make sure you support the subframe as well. I always ask them to drop. So yeah, wheel off. Once the wheel's off, you can do this without taking the wheel off, but I advise you do, because you can give me more room. So there's your wheel arch liner. If you pull that forward, in the that hole there, I'll give you a better look. Yeah, so again, back of the wheel arch, wheel arch liner. There's this, there's the bolt itself, and then immediately above the bolt, there's that hole, and then there's the bolt, there's the thread inside. That's the problem, and can you see it's corroded? The nuts corroded, I see encapsulated nut I'm on about. So that's the thread and the nut, it needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be soaked in penetrating fluid as well to give yourself the best chance of getting that out. So like I was saying, if you get yourself a a wire bottle brush like that. And you'll clean the thread up on the side of the bolt. Once you're happy you've done one side, turn the bolt slightly and uh, keep going until you've got the entire 360 degree rotation of the bolt. And hopefully you've cleaned the thread up enough that that'll come out without any problems. And uh, keep using WD-40 as well. Just about see your thread there, look. So we've been doing this a little while now. Yeah, so I was going to um, actually clean this up. I should have shown you before, really, but. You just see the remnants of all the corrosion and stuff on those threads. Um, that's what stops these things from coming out. And that's what you need to try and clean up as much as you can even before you attempt to undo them. So like I say, once those encapsulated nuts have spun inside the uh, inside the floor pan of the car, you've had it, really. You just got to start cutting the floor pan about. Try and hold the nut inside. You've got to pull the carpet back, cut the... Got a floor of the car. Yeah, so you don't really want to be going there. So basically, yeah, take your time, get it out. Once you've got it out, give the thread a good clean. That part in particular, I think that's what sticks out at the back of the nut and corrodes over the years. So it's worth spending a bit of time just cleaning that up as best you can. And then I know I'm probably going to get a bit of stick for this, but I'm copper greasing it. I don't care what anyone says. That ain't seizing up on me again. So,
wind that in and out a couple of times. But yeah, that's it. So when I come to do this job now, when I come to do the um, the clutch, getting that subframe down won't be a problem. Like I say, the two front bolts don't seem to ever be a problem. There's never anyone who, who's mentioned about that, but it's just the two back ones. There's probably all the um, dirt and shit getting flicked out from the wheels. Goes straight into that hole. Um, and covers that thread. 